for this day. It is finally here because I've read about 5,100 million uh, headlines on it. <laughs> this is why I'm dressed like this. Can you guess why? It's the eclipse, yes! <laughs> the eclipse ripped from the headlines. We are talking about the stories that are trending, big news. I, I always like to say, you know I'm a journalist. 30 years of being a journalist, starting out in KBTX in Texas, all the way to here, and I never, ever break away from that. So thank you for my journalism career. <laughs> so, you know, listen, I'm always looking for the biggest stories. I tell the team I love going behind the headlines because one thing I've learned after 30 years of being a reporter is that the headline never tells you the full story. So I have been looking at all the headlines about the eclipse. We are going to witness something so rare that at any given spot on Earth will only experience once every 400 years. Yeah, right? So the total eclipse of the sun, you've seen the headlines. I have to admit, I love writing. I've written a few books, but I didn't always pay attention in science. I do know that the Earth is round, but we're figuring this out. Millions of people are just in the right spot today to witness this rare celestial dance, as they call it, as the moon moves between the Earth and the sun. The hype is huge. I'm sure you've heard it. If you haven't, take a look. It's called a once-in-a-lifetime event for a reason. Experts say we haven't seen a cosmic event of this scale in generations. And it feels like everyone has eclipse fever. Here's how to plan the ultimate eclipse watching party. It's really rare that we get to have a shared collective experience. It is life changing. It's been 99 years since New York had a total solar eclipse, 156 years for Texas, 218 years for Ohio and Pennsylvania. And with a four minute, 28 second total blackout expected this afternoon, Today's total solar eclipse will be bigger and longer than what anyone experienced back in 2017. This time, 15 states fall along the path of totality, where scientists say the solar eclipse can be fully viewed. But that isn't stopping tourists with eclipse FOMO from hitting the road. I don't know if there are any words that can describe the excitement I feel for this eclipse. So I'm bringing two telescopes, at least two cameras with lenses. I made a map specifically for the solar eclipse. I brought up a bunch of friends from the city and we're here to see it. We are really excited to use this as an opportunity for a family vacation. Um, definitely had FOMO after the 2017 eclipse, so we were not going to miss this one. The eclipse. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. So one person who's not going to miss the eclipse is someone who brings a special kind of passion and excitement to the cosmos. She says one of the most beautiful things in the universe is the night sky. And today she's bringing her enthusiasm, her knowledge, ABC News Nat Geo Eclipse Cover Special. It airs today. It's called Eclipse Across America. But first, to break it all down the headlines, please welcome to the Tampa. I've never met her before, but I'm super excited. <laughs> Award-winning astrophysicist who's even worked with the White House, Dr. Jedida Eisler. <laughs> This is amazing. You're all, this is like your day. I love it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> behind the headlines, every, we saw the pictures from the 1900s. Yes. Of the last time this happened, at least in New York. Put in context, really, behind the headlines, yes. the true excitement level we should all have. Yo, we need to be Yo. at a thousand. <laughs> a thousand. Yeah. We need to be at a thousand. A thousand. Why? Be because, think about it. We're sitting on this planet, doing all the things we do. We get caught in all the things. And in the meantime, the moon, the sun, right. all the planets are like rotating around and we're gonna sit in the shadow of the moon. Right. Just like watching celestial bodies fling by. Right. Like, like. You really love your job. Yo. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I've never met an astrophysicist that says yo. Okay. So I'll be honest with you. Yes. I saw the headlines. Mm -hmm. I saw the ABC News was doing special. Then I started to get FOMO. All yeah. the people driving. I I love Tampan, but if I didn't have to work, I'd be on the road. Like yep. I, I I have I have the FOMO fear of missing out. This is what I'm saying. Because a lot of us won't see this. So the, you, a lot of people will see it. So there's you know about 31 million people that'll be along the, the path of totality. But most of the contiguous U.S. will see some partial eclipse. So as long as you have your glasses, right, you'll get to see a little bit of it. 2017, yes. I was in New York on Houston Street. Um, I was getting my hair colored, because this hey. is not natural. <laughs> I was in my hair, and we all ran outside and yep. stood in the middle 
of the street on, on Housen in, in Soho to see. And we were looking through our phones. Yes. Because they kept telling us, do not do look, not at the look sun. directly at the sun, but it was safe. Is that true? Because that's what they were telling us. To look through our phones, okay? I wouldn't have done that. I... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So behind the wrong headlines, I just get, don't look Do not through... look at the sun. Okay. You need a filter. A filter. Yes. And we have this. Yes. This so, is a filter. That's right. So you can use like a pinhole camera, which right. is what your cereal box can do. So you're in, in any case, I'd say, if you don't have ISO certified glasses, right. that you can look directly at the sun, right. then you need to be looking away from the sun. So your pinhole box, you would... I remember doing this in school. Do you? And now it finally comes in handy. See, look at us. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we're here. Okay. We pinhole it. That's and then... right. That's right. And you have it so that the sun is coming in behind you. Yeah. It'll go in that little hole. Right. And so you will see in that, in the bottom yeah, of your box, like the like, projection. So, yeah, you're looking in this big... Correct. I, I did not pay attention to school. This is so embarrassing. But I catch you. You got it. I catch us. you. Yes, it's a, about four minutes. About four minutes. If you're along the path of totality, that instrument yeah. will be super helpful, right. super easy to build. And if we're not along the line of totality, we just have to watch everybody else's Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you know what they say? Total Eclipse are a once-in-a-lifetime event. Yes. But today, guess what? Our next guest, 13th Eclipse. Please welcome 105-year-old Laverne Beiser in Fort Worth, Texas, my home city. Laverne, I mean, so listen, for, you, Laverne, you got a lot of fans in here. Oh my goodness. So um, <laughs> once in a lifetime, but you've seen 13? 13 of them. Uh, 12. The, I've seen 12. The one way in Hawaii got counted out. So they have a name for people who chase eclipse. eclipse. What are they called? Eclipse chasers. The eclipse. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's another name that my team told me that the astrophysicist doesn't know. <laughs> it's called Umbra File. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> that's, that's not fair. fair. That's like a deep cut. Yes. So what is it called? The Umbra File. Umbra yes. File. So, so this all started in 1963 when you traveled to Maine. <laughs> Yeah, Lower Fox Croft, Maine, the first one we went to. We see all the pictures behind you. My favorite picture is this. That's, that's, yeah. In Williston, yeah. North Dakota. Why is that one your favorite, Laverne? Well, because yeah, I had to set the camera up ahead of time and point it to where they tell you where to look, but the, you're pointing the camera at a blank sky and you hope you get it pointed right in direction. You sit on a tripod and you just wait until a picture comes into your field of view. Then you take a picture every 10 minutes. Take a picture. Wow. And take a picture. That's me with what, what, one of my setups. I know this is a big day for you and people around the country are trying to get interviews with you uh, we reached out, Laverne, to our friends at NASA. They want to commemorate the moment and we'll be sending you a special NASA swag bag filled with things to commemorate this eclipse. Well, thank you both for bringing your perspective and joy for this moment. I'm in. And you can see Jediah on Eclipse Across America beginning at 2 p.m. Eastern on the National Geographic Channel, ABC, and all of Disney Family Networks and social platforms.